Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin, be sure you turn off the power supply to your dishwasher. With the power off, your first step is to remove the screws securing the control panel and pull the panel off. Depress the tabs to release the control board cover. Use a flathead screwdriver to release the tab through the bottom of the panel. Cut the wires to the old thermal fuse no more than one inch from the connectors. Now use a small flathead screwdriver to gently pry up the tabs to release the old fuse and strip a quarter inch of insulation from the two wires. Install the new thermal fuse assembly by inserting each stripped wire into the fuse's terminal block and tightening the screws to secure. Slide the provided shield onto the fuse and snap the fuse assembly onto the control board housing. Use the zip ties to secure the wire harness. Replace the control board cover. Position the control panel and secure it with the screws. You're now ready to restore power to your dishwasher to make sure it's functioning properly.